Our policy and mandate is to protect wildlife, and in particular, species of concern. The peregrine falcon is a species of concern, and it's important to us to ensure that they are safe on our site and have an opportunity to breed and successfully reintroduce that species to southern Ontario. I represent an organization called the Canadian Peregrine Foundation. I guess the easiest way to describe us would be a charity. Uh, we're a federally chartered Canadian registered charity and today we've been at Ontario Power Generation out in Pickering to celebrate a number of little successes, most importantly peregrine falcons. Last year we had one successful hatching and you may remember the name of that uh, bird was Flash. This year we had two successful hatchings who were banded and they were named Curie and Siebert. We remember that back in 1980 the species was officially listed as expirated here in Ontario. We had zero producing pairs of peregrine falcons in the province of Ontario and there were less than 200 peregrines in the entire country of Canada during the same period of time. With peregrine populations crashing all over North America and all over the planet, namely because of a chemical we use as a commercial or an industrial insecticide or pesticide DDT we use in our agricultural areas and it was that environmental challenge that affected the peregrine nationwide, international and globally. OPG has been instrumental not only in support of the foundation and many of, of the programs and projects that we're involved with, but also in term, instrumental in, in assisting and partnering with the Canadian Program Foundation for a lot of different programs that we consider to be quite hands-on with the species. And the recovery, had it not been for those behind the scenes and the people in the trenches, so to speak, and in the field dealing with it, hosting these urban nesting peregrine falcons, we wouldn't have been able to celebrate the successes that we've celebrated to date with the, with the species. And we have a species that's literally gone from near extinction to endangered, to threatened, and now to vulnerable or species at risk. As a rule of thumb for all birds of prey, the females are larger than the males. So by virtue of that size, they're heavier than the males. And the only way to ascertain uh, their gender is at this age is basically to weigh them. One of each of these bands will be put on the one of each of the legs of the young peregrines. And we laugh that the information attached to these band numbers is more complete than the information attached to your and my social insurance numbers. Peregrine falcon nesting behavior shows site loyalty, so we are expecting this breeding pair back next year and the year after. That's a good thing because it allows us to monitor them, ensure that the hatchlings are successful, and to clearly be able to communicate out to the public that we are protecting this species and enhancing their reintroduction to southern Ontario.